Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the Daily Challenge for September 2nd, 2024. The character of the Watcher and the modifier star Heirloom start with one rare relic. Blue cards, blue cards don't appear in rewards and shops. And Midas and enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can only smith the rest sites. I see Peltzer with 1386. That's a great score. Peltzer's on a good roll uh, in the last few days, doing really well every day. Let's see. We start out with Prayer Wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Now, unfortunately, uh, that makes it easier to get collector bonuses, but having two colors makes it harder to do that. So unless I see some great duplicates, I might decide to go for Highlander. I wonder, I wonder if collective bonuses would be better. Uh, there are two two lead paths. If I go on the left, I'll get one early question mark room and then a second one. That's disappointing. If I go on the right, I'll get at least four. Okay, I guess that's a little better. With Midas, I also wouldn't mind hitting a shot, but there's no guaranteed one either on the left or the right. So uh, yeah, let's just get started here. All right, starting off with the lice, I uh, have enough to kill one of them, or both of them, right? Uh, I miscalculated horribly. I, wow, yeah, I needed one more energy or one more attack card to kill. My bad. Hopefully that's not going to come back to haunt me. The lost 10 HP there. We got a fear potion, wheel kick, ball lightning, meditate. Ball lightning is good, meditate is good, wheel kick, they're both good. Let me see what the second card offers. Crush, join, steam berry. Who's my final boss, by the way? Guardian. So I will need some block. Let's take steam berry here and here. I think I'll take Meditate. Yeah, let's try to do a stand shift deck. Mm -hmm. All right, so here, let's start off with Vigilance and Strike. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm frail here. Luckily, I'm not being attacked. I can kill this one, and then I will need the Eruption and one other attack card. I didn't get it. All right, let's still do Eruption, and then I'll do Meditate, and I'll bring back that Eruption. That should be enough to kill, right? Okay. All right, you got a power push and wallop is pretty good. Let's definitely take that. Cold sound might have been nice too. And then rebound sanctity or beam cell. Beam cell is pretty good. Sanctity would have been nice, but um, I think beam cell is better. Here I got strike and meditate upgraded. The meditate is actually a very valuable upgrade. And then here let's do eruption, strike, and another strike. And then I just need one more to kill. All right. Okay, turbo beam cell force field. I already have a beam cell. I probably that, that's not the card I want to break the Highlander modifier for. I also can't really do force field because I don't have any power, so I guess I'll take turbo and talk to the end. It's really good. I am getting offered a lot of duplicates, so I do wonder if collector bonuses might be better. Lose HP for gold here, and here I got these sentries. Mm, all right, well, I can at least pull a defend. Uh, let's do beam cell, talk to the hand, and double defend. Okay. Do I have a chance? If I get wallop, I might have a chance. I didn't, but I also have Meditate. So if I do, um, yeah, I can do Turbo, play everything, Eruption, Strike 1, Strike 2. That's still not enough. Yeah, unfortunately, something I can do, right? Um, let's bring back an Eruption and probably a Strike. Yeah, I needed, if that Talk to the End was upgraded, that would have been exactly enough block, but unfortunately it wasn't. All right, at least I can kill this one. And it's a little risky to stay in Wrath, but I will take that risk. And there's Wallop, yeah, of course, at the bottom of my deck. All right, fine. If I had that Wallop a little sooner, would have been able to perfect easily. All right. Okay, got Oddly Smooth Stone, Starge Cone with one Dexterity, as well as Perseverance, Amplifier, Halt. Halt is interesting, but I think Perseverance might be slightly better. And then here, I could get a Curse, or Gold, or a Relic. Or, okay, that's the worst thing, taking damage. It's always 10%, right? So it should be 7 damage. Yep. All right, annoying. Not much I can do here. Leg of Ulin. Um, I don't know. I definitely want to get the Talk to the End played and the perse Perseverance in my hand. So let's just do uh, Vigilance and v Wait. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, yeah, let's just wait one more turn. Really hoping to get the Talk to the End at least. All right, I got the Perseverance too. Okay, it's not that useful just yet. Uh, there is a wallop, that's good. Uh, let's do wallop. All right, uh, so that's 11. Strike will bring it up to 13. I have to do turbo, and I think I'll do defend and meditate back the wallop. I might need that. Oh, I can get two things, wallop and turbo. Okay. Mm -hmm. I really was hoping to enter wrath here. All right, let's definitely do wallop again. Um, and then strike turbo. Uh, at least I can defend. Okay. And the next thing I should be able to enter Wrath with the Eruption. Let's do that. Beam Cell, Double Strike. 
Okay, I don't need much. I am losing strength here, but I really hope I can get this done. I got the wallop and a strike is enough. Beautiful. All right, was able to perfect this one just barely. We got the boot. One of the deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increased it to five. Another beam cell. That'll be the third beam cell offered. Do I want to take storm? There are some good powers that might be useful. Let me risk it and take storm. The last few days, David have been uh, has had a lot of success with power decks, so let's try that. We also got pendip. Every tenth attack you play deals double damage. Okay. And here I got the looter. Um, yeah, let's do let's do vigilance strike and um, you know what? Let me do turbo meditate the vigilance again and do. Pre oh right, I can't do perseverance. That's fine. I'll lose one HP there. That's okay. Then talk to the hand beam cell strike. Um, I'm fully defended here. Let's do another strike. Mm -hmm. I should be able to easily kill with an eruption. Good. All right, we got. Um, Chill, rebound, protect. Chill is good. Re uh, protect is also really good. Stack is good too. All of these are nice. I think I'll take the chill here and here I'll take the charge battery probably. Although my deck is growing large pretty quickly. Stack might have been very useful too. Not being attacked here. I, I have to figure out a way to get my uh, eruption on turn one. That will definitely help me. The enemy will transform in 33, right? Should I transform it now? Well, I do have double damage, so fine. And then you know what? Let's kill immediately. Got a fruit juice potion, which uh, I might drink as soon as I get another potion offered. Equilibrium, halter, empty mind, all of those are good. Here I think I'll take bowling bash, and here I think I'll take the equilibrium. Come. Okay. Right, right, I can't rest, uh, or I can't upgrade, I have to rest, which is fine. Okay. Flavor and the louse. I can kill the louse with the bowling bash, all right. And let's do talk to the hand as well as wallop. That allows me to be almost fully defended. Come. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then here, I don't think I can kill, right? 1827? No. Um, let's do chill. I'll do um, defend and strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 12. Uh, let's do strike one. And this is not enough, so I guess I'll do vigilance. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another 19. Oh, come on. All I want is uh, deal enough damage to be able to... Uh, you know what, I'll do turbo and defend because I just really need any attack card to kill, so there's no reason to lose HP here. Okay, Wallop does it. Good. At least I have plenty of defensive cards for the boss fight. Consecrate Crescendo Swivel. Uh, Crescendo is interesting. That's another Wallop. No, I think here I'll take Cool Headed and here I'll take Crescendo. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with Highlander unless I get some amazing duplicates. Uh, let's kill the back then with a strike and then do two more strikes here. Mm hmm. All right, another nine. I can do crescendo and kill with the eruption. Or let me do talk to the hand and then eruption just to get the uh, pendant closer to ten. Flying sleeves, bullseye, indignation. Let me think about that. Yeah, definitely tantrum here. And yeah, why not flying sleeves in that case? Okay. All right, here I'm resting back to 66. Good thing I don't have the hexaghost. Guardian. I do want to enter wrath. It might not be a bad idea. Let's do eruption, talk to the hand. And then with Wrath, I also have the Fear Potion. I should be able to transform fairly easily. Yeah, okay, this is good. I might even do Vigilance. Yeah, let's do Tantrum. All right. And then, you know what? Let's do Chill and Vigilance. Just to be safe, let's exit Wrath. Okay. All right, 9 incoming. There is a Wallop. That should be plenty, right? Let's do Wallop. And then I have 10, so I can't do any other attacks. Um, let's do Meditate, and I'll bring back... How about Equilibrium and Wallop? Yeah, let's bring back those two. Okay. Mm -hmm. 16. The so wallop alone, it has to be... Actually, I can just do equilibrium. Yeah, that way I'm fully defended. Let me also maybe play a defend to free up my hand for the next turn. Okay. Alright, 20 incoming. So here I could do crescendo again. Mm, that's risky. I can also defend, right? 15, uh, 21. With the turbo. I do crescendo. I will deal a lot of damage with double damage, too. It's very risky for next turn. Possibly worth the risk. I do have the perseverance. Let's do it. Let's do crescendo. Then beam cell, double damage, wallop. 54. That's not bad. And then I think I'll do turbo and two strikes. Okay, I hope that's not the wrong decision. Um, 18 incoming here. I do have perseverance and steam beer. That's not quite enough. Actually, no, it is enough with the Frost Orb, right? Yeah, let's do Perseverance, Steam Barrier. I could even do Tantrum. That'll give me plenty of block back with the block return. Okay, and because uh, I have 22, I can do uh, Flying Sleeves as well here. Okay, maybe I should have kept it for 
Should I do turbo again? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind having one more um, void in the discard pile. So here I would love to exit Wrath. Okay, there's a Meditate. That's, that alone is not going to be enough, though. Yeah, I risked it. Although, in my defense, even if I uh, was not in Wrath, I still would not have been able to defend. I need a 16. I only have 6. And here I was thinking I had lots of defensive cards. Yeah, that's a bummer. All right, in that case, uh, let's just have fun. So I'll do a Strike and then defend and meditate uh let's bring back the um i guess flying sleeves and perseverance mm. yeah nothing i could have really done there which is a shame i think i got close all right at least i should be able to yeah i'm almost full of defend there and i should be able to kill fairly easily all right well i guess not this turn i don't think i'll waste double damage uh let's do charge battery and come mm -hmm. and then yeah there's the tantrum there that's only 18 well, this is 18-2. Let's do Eruption, then Tantrum. And then um, I'll do Vigilance. I should be able to kill with this just 12 damage. Yeah, I definitely think it is possible to perfect this one. I just didn't get as lucky as I should. But for Establishment Devotion, Establishment is interesting with the Meditate, but I think I'll try to go for Popper here, so let's get uh, let's not take any of those. And then Pandora's Box is very interesting, but no, no, I might get bad cards. I think I have to take Black Star, at least on additional Relic when defeated. That might increase the chance of getting Wing Boots. And yeah, Pandora's Box not giving me duplicates, and uh, it won't get anything upgraded, so I don't think it was really w valuable there. So I can hit any of the elites early on, and then get uh, two more question mark rooms for the second elite. Up until this point, if I get there on the left, I'll get one question mark room. Middle gives me three. Right side gives me two. I think I have to go in the middle. Still no shop. That might be a shame. I'm hoping one of the question mark rooms will be a shop, because I have plenty of gold to spend. Um, let me maybe not do Crescendo yet. Uh, let's do Defend, Strike, and Bowling Bash. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, I think I'll do Crescendo, Tantrum, Strike, and Flying Sleeves. Okay. Alright, I do have double damage and two attacks, and I can do that with the Wallop. Beautiful. Alright, Ball Lightning, Crescendo, Skim. So I already have this between these two. Skim would be better if I had energy, but let's take it. And then here, I'll take the Halt. Not really going for an Orb deck, huh? Um, let's take my first curse shame as well as frozen egg when we add a power card into your deck upgrade it okay so that makes me feel a little better about trying to pick up more powers all right 10 incoming let's fully defend with vigilance and halt and then yeah might as well do a strike not that it really matters mm -hmm. another 12 uh let's do chill equilibrium and then maybe save up my damage for next turn i'll do beam cell actually i probably should have kept that for next turn huh all right 18 yeah, there's Eruption and Wallop. Uh, let me do Eruption first. No, that's going to be... Actually, I have Meditate. Yeah, let's do Eruption, then Talk to the Hand, then Wallop, and then uh, Meditate should be enough, right? Yeah, let's do that, and I'll bring back the Eruption and Wallop again. Come. Okay. Another 12. Uh, yeah, I think here I can do Eruption. Uh, can I do something other than... Yeah, let's do a regular Strike and then Wallop. Okay, yep, that way I'm still fully defended. Mm -hmm. And then can I kill with just one attack? Uh, no. Yeah, I was hoping to save double damage for the next fight, but fine. Got a liquid bronze potion, which I don't think I'll take. I drink, you know what? Let's drink the fruit juice because I'm not going to lose HP from uh, the apparition events because uh, I'm trying to go for Highlander. And then the safe reality, aggregate, go for this. Because I picked up skim, aggregate is really good. And then uh, like water is interesting. It is a power. We'll trigger the storm. And then here, I'll probably just take... Should I transform two cards? I might get duplicates. I could transform, what, two attacks? Yeah, why not? No, the special relic is nice. Let's take it. Yeah, Mutual Strength, Strength, Starish Combo, three Strength at the end of your first turn, lose three Strength again. Yeah, I think it's worth it. And then, yeah, let's upgrade all Strikes and Defense. And then here, I have to rest uh, back to full HP. Okay. All right, Book of Stabbing, 12 incoming. Okay, so I can fully defend, but I, then I can't enter Wrath, which is a shame. Let me drink the Liquid Bronze here. Um, I think I have to do Charge Battery Defend and Meditate. Okay. And I'm free on next turn two, which is annoying. 18 incoming. So I have Equilibrium. That's not quite... Actually, no, I can do Equilibrium, Charge Battery. And then Defend. I have to, right? Yeah, to be fully defended. All right. Mm -hmm. And then 21 incoming here. I do have Turbo. That's nice. Let's do Talk to the Hand, Turbo, Cool-Headed. All right, and then if I play three... Def actually, here, Defend 1, 
Defend two, that's 20, and then I can do two strikes. Okay. Mm -hmm. 24, there is a wallop. I don't think it's, if that's going to be enough, though. Let's do beam cell wallop. All right. That's 17, 19. Uh, this would be another 4, so 23. Yeah, instead of the Vigilance, I can do Flying Sleeves, Miracle, and Strike. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, and three attacks, I'll have double damage. There's an Aggro that's very useless. I don't have another attack, so I can't really deal double damage. Can I defend against 30 somehow? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there's a way for me to... In fact, let's do Aggregate first. Uh, well, at least it paid for itself. Sorry, I missed click there. I wanted to do the skim. I could do Crescendo Halt. Oh, no, but then I can't exit Wrath. Right, never mind. I didn't get the Light Water. Not that it was going to make a big difference, but... Well, Chill is free. That's 7. This makes it uh, 14. This makes it 20. I need 30. Mm. Oh, and then this makes it... An, well, I guess 24. That's still not enough. I do Tantrum. No, there's no way I'll have way too much incoming, right? There's no way I can kill either. Yeah, I think I think I have to just take the loss here. Yeah, which is a shame. Uh, that's a bummer. The Light Water would have been enough, right? Because uh, I only lost 4 HP. Light Water would have been enough. Yeah, what a shame. All right, um, here let's do Storm, Light Water. Then um, Cool Headed, Perseverance. Yeah, I'm taking a lot of damage, actually. All right. And then uh, here I'm going to do Crescendo. I think I can kill, right? 18. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to kill Tantrum and Bowling Bash. All right, unfortunate. We got Lantern Sage come with additional energy as well as Eternal Feather. For every five cards in deck, heal three, three, one of you enter a rest site. Carfiality, Auto Shields, or Establishment. I can't take the rare card between these two. Carfiality might be good. In the last fight, I, I lost because I didn't have enough attack cards. All right, here, let's do Aggregate. I mean, it's nice to get it early on, not that it's super necessary. Mm -hmm. It would be better if I had an Exos card or if I have it together with the uh, Skim. Um, here, I will have to take some damage. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. Okay. I guess I don't... Oh, okay. I do have AoE damage as in forms of uh, Bowling Bash. So let's do Beam Cell, Bowling Bash. Okay. And then let's do Equilibrium, avoiding any damage this turn. Okay. 27, that is a lot. That is a lot. Um, I think I'm going to risk playing the Tantrum. Okay. Then do Halt. Skim. Okay, I did get Meditate, which is great. Um, can I do... I still need a lot of block. Let's do Defend. And then Strike. Should I do Flying Sleeves? Let's do... Actually, Strike does more damage. And then Meditate, and I'll bring back... Uh, I guess... No, probably not Aggregate. Let's bring back... Actually, I could do aggregate and skim. Not amazing, but it will give me something. Okay. Mm -hmm. Luckily, I'm not being attacked here, so let's do aggregate, skim. Actually, let me do like water first, then skim. Okay. Could have considered doing the storm first, too. Uh, let's just do wall up here, deal damage. Okay. Could have considered doing crescendo. Played a few more attacks that way. 16 incoming. Yeah, too late to play crescendo now. Let's do chill, defend. I'm fully defended thanks to the... Um, like water. Mm -hmm. All right, not being attacked here. I'll do. Uh, I'll enter wrath. Let's do eruption tantrum, flying sleeves with double damage, and just need uh, ten extra damage. That seems very doable, right? Okay, I got the tantrum right. Okay, didn't take too much damage there. Follow up rush down. Go for the extra rush down is interesting. I do switch stance. Fear no evil is great. Yeah, let's make this a uh, stance shift deck. And then here I got blood Vial at the savage combat. Heal two HP. Okay, and then turning left for the next elite. Right, have to heal back. Okay. And then here, Necronomicus would be great. I do have a few high-cost cards. Beautiful. Necronomicon, the first attack played each, each turn that costs two or more is played twice. I can pick up obtain a special curse, so that makes the Eruption better, the Wallop better. Those are the only two cards that will affect at the moment, right? Still, those are some great cards to be affected. Okay. And then here, another rest for no reason. All right. And then here, I got the Grimmin Leader. Yeah, I think just the fact that Wallop is amazing is pretty good. Um, unfortunately, uh, so 18 plus 6 is 20. Okay, at least I can kill one of them. Yeah, let's do Beam Cell and Strike. Uh, I misclicked. I'm sorry, I'm going to reload because that was a misclick. I meant to kill one of the minions to increase the chance of, uh, of not being attacked next turn. Uh, so let me try this one more time. 
So beam cell and then strike the midliner. Okay, and then let's do equilibrium. Should I do chill? No, let's save the chill for a turn where I get attacked. Well, next turn, because I'll lose it after that. And I'm not being attacked. Okay, might as well do chill still. Uh, let's do skim. Just hoping for the aggregate. All right, um, I'll do two strikes. Actually, what? Just to be safe, let's play a third strike. Oh, was that a waste? That might have been a waste. Back then it is attacking now, and I didn't get anything I wanted. Great. Um, so I can do Fear No Evil. No, Like Water, Meditate, Defend. Ah, uh, boy. And I'll take a lot of damage. There's nothing I can do, though, right? Yeah, that's a bummer. In that case, let's do Fear No Evil. Uh, here, let me throw the Fear Potion, then do... Actually, maybe I shouldn't have wasted the Fear Potion if I knew that there's no chance of me perfecting. Yeah, that might have been unnecessary. That's fine. All right, because I know I'm going to heal after this anyway, right? I have to heal at rest sites. Um, uh, let's just wait here. Yeah, a little unfortunate. I did pick up that wallop, and I'm not getting it as often as I'd like. Okay, finally showed up there. Um, well, I don't think I'll enter Wrath here for sure. Uh, let's do Bowling Bash first. Okay, and then double play the wallop. Not even that much block, right? Probably could have targeted the backliner. Okay. Again, I am resting at the end of this fight. Let's do Crescendo, get energy, then rush down Tantrum. Talk to the hand, flying sleeves, and wait. Mm -hmm. And then being attacked again. That is some uh, unfortunate luck here. Because uh, I don't think I can survive this one. Um, well, I can kill you. I can Tantrum you. Uh, and I can play this. So I have 78, I'm being attacked for 72 plus 8, which is 80. I think I'm dead. Right? 60, 72, yeah, I have 80 incoming, and I only have 78. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, nah, yeah, no, that still doesn't change anything. Alright, uh, wait, did that change something? Uh, yeah, no, I have to reload this one. I got a little unlucky by being attacked with the Grumman Leader. I also was a little uh, too... Uh, I had too much hubris, thinking that I, I have so much HP and I can't lose it all. But yeah, if you uh, enter Wrath, it's very easy to lose HP very quickly. Um, how about... Let me throw the Fear Push, knowing that I have trouble perfecting here. Let's kill this one first. And then I will still do Equilibrium, okay? The problem is that next turn I was being attacked, right? Yeah, yeah, nothing I could have changed about that. And then maybe instead of doing the skim, I should just focus on defense. So let's do chill, charge battery, cool-headed, and steam barrier. There's no reason to do skim right now, is there? Actually, I do have a defend. Hang on, am I able to full defend here? Okay, all right, this changes things. Oh, because, wait, no, why was I able to full defend and I couldn't last time? I'm a little confused about that, but no harm done. Let's do storm like water. I'll do meditate at the end. Let's do fear no evil and then meditate. I'll bring back... What defensive cards? Uh, skim and uh, Equilibrium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, uh, I thought this one was summoning. It's not. All right. Let's do Halt, Turbo, Hope the Skim gives me the... Although, Aggret is, it's too late for Aggret anyway. And um, even if I enter Wrath, uh, the Wallop is not going to be enough. So instead, can I defend against 36? I might be able to if I do Equilibrium. That's 25. And then another, um, what is that, 11? That is exactly 36, right? Uh, actually, it's, I miscalculated, 39. But still, I'm able to do some of the defend here so far. This one is still not summoning. That's really annoying. Let's do rush down. I will risk entering wrath here. So let's do talk to the hand. I think I'll double play the eruption. Okay. All right. And then let's do flying sleeves. Uh, wait, no, double damage tantrum. And then flying sleeves. Okay. And now hope I don't get attacked again. Uh, no, I am being attacked again. At least I got... Okay, different RNG. This time I got Vigilance. That's awesome. Let's do Aggregate, Tantrum, Strike, Strike, Defend. Uh, wait, that was not a Strike. That was a Crescendo. Okay, misplayed that. Um, unfortunately, I don't have enough still. Which is fine. You know what? I'll take it. At least I'm able to survive. Also, I'm losing the Perfect here by 2 HP, which is a shame. All right, here I'll just bring back uh, Bowling Mash and Strike, and that should be enough to kill next turn. Come okay. At least I didn't die, I only lost 2 HP rather than, you know, losing all of my, losing, yeah, all of my HP plus another one. Advaja starts come with one strength, as well as white beast statue potions always appear in combat rewards, a dex potion, and go for the SRMT fist. 
Empty fist might be good. Yeah, I, I don't have enough ways to exit Wrath at the moment. Got the Sneko here. Um, let's start off with Storm, Storm Like Water and Equilibrium. Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, getting the uh, Confused debuff. Uh, okay, this is actually nice. I can do Defend, Eruption, and then I have to do Empty Fist. Let's actually do Carp Reality, then Empty Fist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, another 15. Um, aggregate will give me a bunch of energy. Well, not as much as I'd like, but still somewhat. And then let's do Fear No Evil. Double damage smite. Okay. And then I think I'll do Vigilance for some block. All right. Mm -hmm. Another 8. I don't have a high cost attack card, which is a little annoying. Uh, let's do Charge. Actually, let me see what the skim gives me. That's Tantrum. That's... Well, I do have Meditate. Let's do Tantrum here. Okay. Can I kill? Yes, I can. Good. All right, we got a Strength Potion, Flying Sleeves Fall Up, Protect. I'll take a Protect here for sure. And then Flurry of Blows might be nice. I do switch stances, not as often as I'd like, but it might be still useful. And then, yeah, once again, healing for no reason. I don't think I perfected any of the elites so far. Let me see if I can perfect the champ at least. Okay, not a bad start. Double playing the Wallop. Uh, let me also drink the Strength Potion just in case. You know what? I'm also going to drink the Power Potion. Study Echo Form Loop. Echo Form is great. All right, double play the Wallop. And then just to be play, uh, safe, I'll play the Vigilance in case I get the um, like water. That way I, I'll have some block. Luckily, I'm not being attacked here. Is it worth to risk playing Tantrum? No. I think I'll double play the like water instead. That's 14 block every turn. So also do Equilibrium. Okay. Mm, so 18. I have 14 already. Don't need to double play the Church Battery. I think. Should I double play the Storm? I mean, I don't have to, but I might as well. I also meditate. Let's double play the Tantrum. How about that? Okay. And do Flurry of Blows, uh, Strike, Off Reality, Charge Battery, and then Meditate. And I'll bring back the Wallop and, um, I don't know, Charge... No, not Charge Battery. Well, let's do Equilibrium just to be safe. Okay. Alright, not being attacked here again. Definitely double play the Talk to the End, right? Let's do that. I can do Aggregate. Um, probably should do Equilibrium. I don't think I'll exit Wrath with the, or exit Calm with the Empty Fist, because the 14 block I get every turn is really useful. Do I double play the Wallop? No, I think I'll save it for next turn. Okay. Next turn I'll be Frail, so the Wallop will be useful. I'm still not being attacked. All right. Yeah, let's double play the uh, Rushdown. Sure. Okay. And then let's do, should I do Tantrum again? I could force it to transform this turn, or next turn, I guess, right? Yeah, let's try that. So let's do Chill Tantrum. All right, then do um, strike, uh, bowling bash, and double play the wallop. Okay, and then soon I'll also be will be able to deal damage damage. So this one, this turn, the enemy is transforming. Um, still have a fear no evil, right? Yeah, uh, should I double play the beam cell. Let's do that. Double play beam cell, then strike. That was a little bit of a waste of double damage, though. Let's do cool headed. There's an eruption. I could double play that with the miracle. Let's do it. Okay. I'm not that far from being able to kill. Unfortunately, next turn the enemy won't be vulnerable anymore. All right, 54 incoming. That is a lot. Double play the Fear No Evil or Tantrum? Uh, so Tantrum is 36 times 2. That should be enough to kill, right? Beautiful. All right, at least I perfected the boss. That's good news. We got a Cultist Potion, and yeah, I'm going to skip all of those for the Popper modifier. And then here, Fusion Hammer, Sozu, or Coffee Dripper. Fusion Hammer... I mean, I can't upgrade anything anyway. Probably the best thing to do. Again, energy at the start of your turn. You can longer smith at rest sites. I also wouldn't mind getting some extra energy here. All right, awaken one, which is good that I didn't focus on powers. All right, and again, only a two lead path. Well, multiple two lead paths. If I start on the left, I'll get two question mark rooms, and that's it. Uh, middle gives me two question mark rooms plus a guaranteed shop. Right side gives me four question mark rooms, but no guaranteed shop. I am sort of tempted to go for the guaranteed shop path. Just because it's, I don't know, I have two curses. It is theoretically possible to get curses. Very hard to make them unique. Let me get to this question mark room and then decide. Yeah, it is very tempting to skip the curse, uh, the, the shop, but I I should hit at least one shop, right? Let's do aggregate, rush down, defend, car reality, strike and smite and wait. Accept a little bit of damage here. Hmm. All right, lots of incoming. I can double hit the wall. Let's do chill first. Then Empty Fist, uh, Double Damage, Double Play the Wallop, okay. Gives me plenty of block, and then Flying Sleeves, alright. 
Okay, lots of incoming here once more. Uh, let's do talk to the hand. Uh, how do I do this? Fear no evil kills the backline, right? Let's do talk to the hand. You, storm, fear no evil, steam barrier, and unfortunately I'll take a little bit of damage here. Mm -hmm. What can I kill? Yeah, I think if I do flurry of blows, tantrum, then uh, strike another flurry of blows to kill this one, and then another attack to kill this one. Beautiful. Yeah. Got the still chaos, which is nice. Recursion, cold sub, or indignation. Indignation is interesting. I need more ways to enter wrath anyway. And then I don't think I'll need capacitor. Tranquility is a good card to have too. Come. Okay. All right, got the old walker here. Ten incoming. Rush down, double damage, strike. Yeah, I guess. Um, and then charge battery, another strike. Mm -hmm. Thirteen. Uh, well, I might as I have the energy to do storm, fear no evil, flying sleeves. And yeah, I guess I'll do Perseverance, avoid taking a little bit of damage there. 21, that is a lot. Uh, let me do Crescendo to draw extra cards. Ooh, Indignation for Vulnerability, then Strike, Vigilance, and uh, you know what? Let me do the Protect, because I'm pretty sure I should be able to kill next turn. Yeah, I just need very little there. Bowling Bash does it. Good. All right, got an Energy Push, which I don't think I'll need. Conclude Chaos or Just Lucky. Chaos might give me Overkill with a Dark or Bright. I think I have to take it for that reason. Another storm I can take that. Let's take white noise. It's not a bad idea. And then here... Oh, I'm okay losing the strike probably. Rushdown is very valuable. All right. So, question mark rooms or shops? I think in the past I always said Midas run, skip shops, and end up regretting it. But um, there's always a chance of getting curses. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll do the question mark rooms here. I have to, sort of. I'm also hoping one of the question mark rooms will be a shop. All right, here I get a lot of gold and two normalities. And then here, fighting for a rare relic. I mean, I still need to either get one curse or remove an extra normality. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. Um, here, let me do Crescendo Eruption. Okay. Then Empty Fist. And then I'll double defend here. Okay. Hmm. 26. Uh, all right, let's do Flurry of Blows. Um, I think I'll do Equilibrium and Charge uh, no, let's do Vigilance. Okay. Not happy with how much HP I'm losing here. And with, with the Equilibrium, I still have the Normality, right? Okay, so at least I can kill one of these. Actually, I do have double damage. That seems a little wasted. Let's do a Strike on you. No, 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 no. Let me do... How do I do this? Let's do Flurry of Blows to kill you, then Charge Battery, then Steam Barrier. Okay, do I at least have a Reset after this? I don't really. Might be a problem. I am losing a lot of HP. 24. Let me see what the white noise gives me. Foresight. All right. Cool-headed. Oh, no. Well, I'm losing a lot of HP. Okay, so here I think I have to try to kill, right? So let's get rid of this and see if by entering Wrath I have a chance. Flurry of Blows, Bowling Bash, Flying Sleeves, Carve Reality, and a Smite. Okay, good, good. All right, got Gambling Ship at the start of each combat. Discard any number of cards and then draw that many. That's not bad. A Liquid Memories Potion, which I'll take over the next potion. Cold Snap, Summering Fury, Sash Whip. Sash Whip is pretty good. Okay. 8 HP for this Elite, the Reptomancer. That might be a problem. I do have Wallop that I can play twice, and I also have Bowling Bash. Let me get rid of this, and I'll keep the Aggregate. Hope I don't get the Normality. Of course I got the Normality. Oh, boy. All right, at least the Wallop is played twice, right? So I can kill you and then double play the Wallop. Okay, get rid of minions that way. Mm -hmm. Alright, this one is not attacking, that's good news. And I got another normality. I do have the um, double damage fear, no evil though. Let's do strike and another strike, okay. Okay, at least I don't have to deal with normalities anymore. Um, so here I definitely want to do sash whip. I think I have to play the distal chaos, although it might allow me to exit wrath. So maybe I will risk it and double play the eruption. Tantrum is 12, right? Yeah, so let's do Eruption twice on this one. Okay. Then do Tantrum. That kills the Backliner. Then Flying Sleeves. Let me see what the... Um... Actually, if it gives me a Meditate... If it plays a Meditate, I'll have to stop my turn. So I think I'll do... I'll do Protect, but even with that, the Meditate is not going to be enough, right? But yeah, let's... Uh, let's play this. Defend, Talk to the Hand, and Equilibrium. I'm still in Wrath. So... Yeah, I have to use Liquid Memories. Um... I already double played the wallop, right? But uh, single playing it is also not a bad idea. Okay. 
All right, and in here I do have double damage. This is not going to be enough, but I think I have to try it. Let's do Tantrum. Okay, then do you halt? Um, wait, so it's going to be 19 incoming, right? I think I should be fully defended. That's thanks to the weakness too. Let me do Tranquility. Yeah, 18 actually, and then I can do Chaos. Okay, not a Dark Orb, but I'm okay with that. Another attack. Come on, game. Do I have enough here? Beam Cell Carve Reality is enough. Phew. Okay, perfected this one, just barely. Had to use two potions. We got meal ticket when we enter, shop heal 15 HP, and ginger you can only become weakened, as well as a stand ship potion, and swivel is pretty good. I already have the equilibrium. And then, yeah, I have to go left, which means no rest set for some time. Spire growth, which is attacking me on turn one. At least I can get rid of the normality, one of the normality, so that's good. I think I'll defend with the swivel. Yeah, let's, let's keep the skim, actually. I'll just get rid of the normality and then see if I get aggregate. I didn't, but I got equilibrium, which is nice. Let's do equilibrium. Uh, beam cell, fear no evil, and then church battery. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm being attacked again. That's unusual. Uh, let's do rush down, double play the wallop. Okay. And then I can do sash whip. And uh, actually, I could enter wrath here. Yeah, I think... Wait, if I enter Wrath, I'll be attacked for 25. Yeah, you know what? Let's do Empty Fist. Then Crescendo. 24, actually, not even 25. Then Double Play the Eruption. No, let me do one Defend and then Double Play the Eruption. Okay. I forgot that I already had Double Played something, I guess, the Wallop. Did I? I must have, I guess. All right, here I'll do Aggregate, Flurry of Blows, Storm, and Wait. Not the best turn there. And then can I deal 50 damage here? I don't have Double Damage anytime soon. Mm, this is a problem. So, I guess I'll do strike. No, I, I have enough. Right, right, Okay, beautiful. Perfect this one. We got strength uh, strength potion, recycle charge battery, foresight. I already have this. I don't have a foresight. It is a power, but it might be a good one. Heat sinks, mental fortress, claw. I mean, heat sinks might allow me to go for combo, but I don't think for the upcoming boss it'll be useful. Mental fortress is pretty good, though. And then, yeah, going left, hoping for a shop. Beautiful. Okay, at least I healed that way, and I can remove a normality. I mean, there is a chance to get a fifth curse, but I'd rather have Highlander than uh, curses. So let's remove an extra normality here, and then I can buy everything, right? So let's take a Clockwork from near Storage Calm with one artifact. Tier 2 Locket, Storage Calm with Calm. And Tori Top Topter, when you use a potion, heal 5 HP. I can't take the rare card, but I can take the Battle Him. I already have Cool Headed, just Lucky Ball Lightning. I don't think I need bandage up. I would like a potion. Let's get rid of this and take the swift potion instead. I still have so much gold left over. Fine, fine. All right, here I got strawberry up and pick up race to make sure we buy seven. Okay. And then here I got the writhing math. Would have been my fifth curse. Actually, no, there's no way to get another unique curse after this. That's fine. Get rid of the normality. That's good. Let's do aggregate. Talk to the hand battle trance. Okay. And then just uh, try to defend here. I don't think I'll do Flying Sleeves. At this point, if, if I only have three curses, let me just make sure. Shame, Necronomicon, a Necronomic Curse, and the Normality. There's no real reason to get a fourth curse, if I can't guarantee getting a fifth one. A unique fifth one, I should say. Here, let's do Indignation. Then, um, Smite, Strike, another Strike. And then 30, 15 is fine, right? I can do Defend and Meditate. And let's bring back the Aggregate and Indignation. Mm-hmm. All right, another 10. Let's do Mental Fortress, Aggregate. Uh, indignation is a little risky, but I will take that risk. Let's do Chaos. All right, Smite, Ball Lightning with double damage. That's good. And then Strike and Flying Sleeves or Kill. Beautiful. All right, got a Dex Push. I don't think I'll take Loop, Empty Fist, or Skim. I already have this and this. I guess I'll reluct. No, you know what? I'm almost at 50 cards. I don't need the Loop. Tantrum Strike. Okay, I don't have a Streamline, and it will be played twice with the... Um, with the Necronomicon, so that's good to have. All right. And then here, get rid of these two. I will keep the Indignation in case I want to enter Wrath. I probably don't, though. Let's do Battle Him, Light Water to be fully defended, and uh, just Beam Cell. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, lots of incoming here. Let's do Rush Down. Um, I think I'll do Tantrum because I have the Vigilance. All right, uh, let's do Charge Battery, Just Lucky. Turbo is fine. Smite kills. Okay. And then I will do Defend and Vigilance. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here I got Flurry of Blows. I think I'll do Crescendo. Because um, I have Protect as well, right? Or, hey, hang on. Let's do let's do Crescendo. Then um, Smite. 
our reality. Okay, and then I think we'll double damage. I can kill the backliner. Beautiful. All right, got an energy potion, which I don't think I'll take. Steam barrier and bowling mesh I already have. I don't know about recursion. I don't think I need it. And then empty body. I definitely need that. Yeah, another way to exit wrath and some block. Okay. All right, nemesis. This might be a challenge. All right, get rid of these. I will keep the cool headed for card draw. Um, so to battle him, like water, chill, and I guess I'll just assume this turn is just to set up. Come. Okay. Huh. I got the big attack. I'll be in trouble. Yep, it is the big attack. And of course, I got the normality too. I don't think there's much I can do here, right? Um, I can do empty body. Tranquility. That's the best I can do defensively. Yeah, I just got some bad luck here. That's fine. Okay. Do I have a reset after this? I do. Yeah, fine. Um, here, let's do aggregate. I should be able to play everything. So storm, defend, church battery, smite, sash whip, and another smite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another big attack. At least this time the enemy is weakened. Let's do skim. Rush down. I might consider doing crescendo to draw extra cards. Let's do talk to the hand turbo. Now, if I do rush down, I'll draw extra cards, but I won't be able to gain this seven block from light water because right now I have 12. With swivel, that brings up to 24, 33, and I'm actually fully defended here. Let's also do chaos. No dark orb still. Bowling bash and wait. Mm -hmm. All right, not being attacked here, so I think I'll do flurry of blows crescendo. Okay. Burial Blows again. Uh, I should have done Indignation first. Um, let's do Double Damage Smite, right? So Strike, Smite, and 96. If only I had a Strength Potion, I would have been able to get Overkill. Well, I'll keep the Cultist Potion for the boss fight. Got Dreamcatcher, one of your rest, you may add a card into your deck. So as Regal Pillar, one of your rest, heal initial 15 HP. A Cultist Potion, which I don't think I'll take. Consume Sands of Time, Streamline Sands of Time is pretty good. Okay. All right, so here I'll rest, and at least I get a card out of it. Um, I already have these two, so let's take the Leap. Come. And then final fight, the transient. All right. 30 incoming here. I probably, actually, I could just do streamline at the beginning, right? Yeah, let's double play the streamline. And then let me see what chaos gives me. I also do battle him and white noise. Okay, hello world is fine. Mm -hmm. 40. Double play the eruption. Okay. And then a strike. Save the smites for when I need them. I do need to free up my hand, though, right? Um, here, let's do Beam Cell. Um, Rush is not that useful. Smite. Okay. Um, let me get rid of the Perseverance. It's not that useful. And then I'll do Light Water Storm at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. Under 20. Look at that. Double play the Wallop. Okay. Then Rush Down. And then uh, I have to waste double damage, right? Or I can save it for next turn. I'm fully defended here. But yeah, still, it'll be a little bit of a waste. Uh, let me try to play as many power, uh, attacks as I can. So play the Smites. And then Sash Whip. And Fear No Evil. And if Blurry Blows. Okay, good. At least I got pendant back to 5. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got a Duplication Potion. That's really tempting. I'll take over the Snatcher Potion. And then I already have this. I don't think I need Barrage here. I already have 50 cards too, right? Recycle is interesting, but not necessary. Same with Prostrate. Although it is a zero-cost card, I guess I can take it. And then here I'll get another card choice. Yeah, I collect this fine. I'm not sure I'm well prepared for the boss fight. I think the only hope is that the Cultist Potion will give me something amazing. Let me first see. Get rid of the Normality. That's good to get it out of the way early. Same with the White Noise. You know what? I'm going to get rid of all three of the, all, all five of these, hoping to get enough defense. Um, yeah, that's not enough defense. Let's drink this. Double play the Light Water. 14 block every turn. That's not bad. Let me see what the Swift Potion gives me. Okay, I do have the Chill. That's useful. I think I have to double play the Light Water. It's very tempting. Let's do it. Okay, so I give the enemy extra strength, but I'm also fully defended. Um, I don't think I'll do Mental Fortress here, though. Let's do Bowling Bash. Okay. And then a Strike. And then I guess I can wait. All right. I should have done Meditate. Yeah, I could have grabbed the Bowling Bash back. Yeah, that was silly. Um, Tantrum is risky. Let's do Skim. I do have Fear No Evil. Okay, that's good. In that case, let's do Tantrum. All right. Then Halt. Um, one of these will be double damage, right? Um, hang on. I don't have a lot of energy. Let's see what the cool headed gives me. Chaos. That's not super useful. Oh, boy. All right. Um, I think I have to do Empty Fist. Oh, it's not even enough to kill this one with the Empty Fist, huh? Has to be double damage then, right? 
But this is annoying. Alright, I have to keep one of them alive. So I guess I'll do Empty Fist you. Then Fear No Evil wasted double damage on you. So I have uh, 35 block. That's good, that's good. And then, um, yeah, no need to play anything else. Okay. Hmm. 42 incoming. Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem. Let's do Talk to the Hand, just lucky. Yeah, I don't need eruption here. I have 26. Nothing I can do about the uh, 32. Yeah, unfortunate. I I already will put on the thumbnail that I reloaded because I had to reload that act to, uh, uh, elite fight to survive. So let me try one more time and actually use the meditate on turn one that I think was important to do. I will still get rid of everything, and I think that was the right decision because I needed defensive cards. Then drink this. Play this. Drink this. Okay. And then here, I think it's still right to double play the like water. That I still will do. Let's do bowling bash. And then... Um, because I have 26. I'm fully defended. Why didn't I do Ball Lightning? There's no reason not to. I guess I'll lose a Frost Drop, but I think I have the energy. Let's do that. Let's do a Strike. And then Meditate back. The Sands of Time and Bowling Bash. I don't have any defensive cards to bring back. Okay, I think this is good. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here I have Tantrum. I don't have a way to enter. Actually, I did get something with the uh, Skim, right? So, I think I'll do... This is 48. Almost enough. Let me do Skim first. Okay, yeah, Fear No Evil. That's what I wanted. All right, let's do Tantrum. Mm -hmm. And then Bowling Bash. That's enough to kill this one. Good. And then does this change anything? Um, I need to do... Actually, no, I'm fully defended once I enter Calm. So... I could double the Descends of Time. It's a lot of damage. No, no. I think I'll do Cool Headed. I don't think I'll do Storm, though. Yeah, let's do Empty Fist and then Fear No Evil. Okay. Let me see if this changes anything. I think I'm drawing the same things as before, though. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem, right? Okay, yeah, I only have 16. I need way more than that. Uh, let's do Just Lucky here. Prostate didn't even show up. Double Fleety Sands of Time. Okay. That's uh, 25. Strike and... Uh, well, actually, if I evoke the Frost Rope, did that do anything? No, 30. I need 32. All right, unfortunate. I don't think with the reload I was able to do anything differently. Um, here, because I'm not perfecting, uh, let's double play the eruption. Then play the streamline for overkill. How did that happen? I guess with the extra strength and double damage. Beautiful. Also kills. I can do foresight and prostrate. Okay. I would like to exit wrath, though, if I can. Can I exit wrath, please? Um, no, no. Sort of the opposite. Um, well, at least I'm alive. That's good news, right? Ooh, all right. Down to 6 HP, though. That's not good. Okay, I got the Tranquility. That's nice. Okay. Uh, I can double play the Wallop. That's good. All right. So I need 72. I'm actually fully defended. I don't need to exit Wrath. Although I probably should. I do have the empty button. You know what? No, let's wait. I don't need to exit Wrath. Okay. All right. Here, there's Tantrum, Vigilance, Indignation. Lots of good cards here. Let me get rid of this. Actually, Flying Sleeves would have been nice. I have the Strength. So can I do... Can I do Vigilance... Then Tantrum. Alright. Uh, then Tranquil... No, I need to play the Tranquility at the end. So it's Indignation. Um, then I'll do Swivel. Uh, strike. And then is Tranquility enough? Uh, 1435. I need 36. Well, I mean, I'm not perfecting anyway, so I'm okay losing 1 HP here. Okay. Yeah. And then here, there's another Tantrum. Let's reshuffle and hope I get enough attacks to kill. So I do have double damage. So if I do something like Crescendo, Tantrum, actually without double damage is enough. All right, no real chance of perfecting the last boss. And uh, I got a little unlucky with the first boss. Yeah, 11.59, that's not a great score. So after six elites, I perfected two only. That's not that great. Actually, it's only the two on Act 1, right? I thought I got the Reptomancer too. Yeah, actually, no, I missed one on Act 1. So, yeah, I think it was a Reptomancer and then one on Act 1. I also perfected only the Act 2 boss. I was able to get a lot of gold thanks to the Normality events. Um, they did hurt me a little, the Normalities. Um, but, yeah, I was, able to, was not able to get Cursed. No chance of getting that. Got Lightspeed, got Overkill at the end. And Popper, that's pretty much it. Obviously, missing two bosses. I do think it is possible, maybe with some slightly better potions, I might have been able to perfect the boss. All right, yeah, people definitely did way better. Oof. I am 76. It is built pretty early in the day. Um, actually, it looks like I'm about 25 points above 
Actually, no, I'm 21 points above gold barrier. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, so theoretically another 150 points. If I had perfected the two bosses, that would give me 1309. Let's see where that would have put me. 1309. Oh, that doesn't even break the top 20. 39 would have put me in 29th place. Uh, perfecting a few more elites. Let's say two more. That'll be 1359. That would be, put me in 21st place. And where did Pelts end up? 1386. That's another 25. Yeah, I guess Pelts might have been able to perfect more more of the elites and also all the bosses. That's a great score. Yeah, Pelts is doing really well the last few days. Um, let me know in the comments what you did. I um, I don't know. Maybe maybe collective bonuses were the, was the right idea because I do feel like it might have been possible to get a few collective bonuses, but definitely not that many. I was able to get in Sigvidia, and so the only way that collective bonuses would make sense is, is if you were able to get more than four which might be difficult. Maybe my mistake was not going for shops. Yeah, maybe I should have skipped a few question mark rooms. Obviously, in retrospect, curses were not possible, so I should have skipped them. But yeah, maybe going for shops would have changed the RNG, giving me some better cards to allow me to perfect things. That's definitely possible. All right, I'll be looking forward to reading your comments. Let's do the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a Watcher run with the Specialized modifier that gave you five copies of Streamline, as well as Diverse and Big Game Hunter. And I think most people went for the Highlander and they were able to remove four of the five Streamlines, uh, including myself. But uh, the big difference was, for example, Pels, uh, sorry, David was able to have 1719. The big difference was that... Um, I think most of us did see a wing boots at a shop, uh, but not many of us were able to afford it. I had, um, I think I was missing like 18 gold to be able to afford it. Um, but then David was able to afford it. Um, so he was able to perfect 13 out of the 14 elites. With the wing boots, he was able to get six elites on Act 3. So you can check out his Twitch stream. That was a very impressive run. His RNG was different right from the start, start. And I think that could also explain why he was able to have more gold for that first shop. He also was able to perfect all the bosses, got overkill combo. Uh, the only thing, and I think that's because of the different RNG, he wasn't able to get stuffed um he was able to get the light speed modifier and also missed in sick of dn i think most people were were not able to get in sick of dn yesterday and then yeah david went for a power deck um and again you can check out his twitch stream or youtube video if you're interested then you have pelts here with 1669 pelts had a more traditional run he had a very similar run to me but was able to maximize everything was able to affect all the 12 elites and all the bosses got overkill combo uh was able to get stuff that's uh, as well so yeah congratulations that's uh, basically the best i could have done without or actually i think the best anybody could have done without wing boots so yeah still very good score there uh, then you have me here with 1594 uh, so i perfected 10 of the 12 elites um, i didn't have wing boots as i mentioned um, and then i perfected all the bosses got overkill missed the combo modifier um, so against the giant head i was able to play 20 cards or I, I was able to get the slow debuff to get to 20 cards but unfortunately that included uh, a vault in the middle and that one doesn't count unfortunately so i wasn't able to get combo i was close though uh, and then I was able to get stuffed, uh, but missed the light speed modifier. So missing two elites and light speed uh, made me be 75 points below uh, Pelts. Then you have Ropal with 1592, two points below me. And then we skip forward to George here, who made it into the top 100 with 1515. Uh, Goldberry got 1469. Um, and then PGM got 1444. Uh, Steven got 14-15. Uh, Steven missed the Act 1 boss. Um, I actually got super lucky against the Act 1 boss, so yeah, I, I had some lots of luck there. And then making it into top 100, uh, 200 is Cosmino with 13-82. And Malzahn just missed it by a little bit with 13-63. Malzahn only perfected 8 of the 12 elites and only 1 of the 3 bosses. Um, he had different card RNG, so he took the after image where I was offered a Wraith form. And that was a decent decision, right? Because uh, without after image, Wraith form is not that useful. But luckily, later on, most people were able to get the Oracle so uh, Wraithrum did become much more powerful. Um, and then because of that different RNG, uh, Malzahn wasn't offered the Vault, but instead got the upgrade offering, and he bottled that, I bottled the Vault. And then he relied a lot on the Aftermatch and Juggernaut combination, but when Juggernaut didn't show up early, um, it did make things very hard. So yeah, Malzahn had some bad luck yesterday. And then Grimgoth also died to the Book of Stabbing, uh, so not everybody was able to make it, especially if you enter Wrath a little too prematurely, it's definitely possible to die against, uh, against any of the elites yesterday. Yeah, sorry about that. I thought I missed Goldberry's comment. Yeah, so Goldberry uh, made a really funny comment. He was able to affect 11 elites and all the bosses. And he was doing, uh, he thought he was doing really well until the very end where he realized that he had forgot to move to, uh, to remove all the streamlines. So he had accidentally got one collector bonus and missed the Highlander mod. It was just kind of a kind of funny way to uh, to lose 75 points there. Um, now, uh, Goldberry also didn't get a shop on Act 3 and as a result missed the Alex Shiny modifier and also finished the game with a lot of gold. But yeah, that's a shame. With the extra 75 points, he would have been well in the top 80 or 60 even uh, so yeah that happens sometimes too just have to remember especially when you start with specialized there's a lot of cards that you need to remove anyway that's it for yesterday let me know in the comments what you did for today and i'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching bye